All right, guys, look where we're at. Look where we're at. We're at a deer farm. It's a deer farm. <laughs> you can pet him. <laughs> we are at the Hoyt headquarters, the offices of Hoyt and Hoyt, with uh, Eric and BMAC. That's a looking hush hat. Or... Is that a custom? That's a new it's hush a brand hat. New, brand, brand new. Brand new. Wow. Really? It's on there? This is a brand new sweatshirt. Do you guys like this? That's, uh, they actually only printed edition. two of these, but uh, yeah, we're going to go in here. We're going to go check out all the new 2016 lineup for Hoyt, and we are going to be able to pick out what bows we're going to shoot this year. Right? Right? Well, behind the scenes at Hoyt headquarters. I mean, behind the scenes. Kid in a candy store. Okay, guys, we just left the entrance, and we're heading back to the trophy room. Look, Look at that. Down, you see, if you're gonna have an office job, this is the office. This job is the place with all those mounts. And this, this is, is Matt. He's the pro staff manager. What up, guys? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. What are we gonna do today? Uh, show you guys around the Hoyt factory. Get you the ins and outs, kind of the behind the scenes Hoyt in the house kind of style thing. So come along, guys. Check it out. It's me, Rab. We're gonna we're gonna see all the new bows, and we're gonna be able to decide what bows we want to shoot this year. I'm gonna oh, take one yeah. of each, but I don't want these one of each. each. <laughs> Starting out with. Some giant white tail. Look at this. I gotta be quiet. There's a lot of people at work right now. Customer service. No, this is really cool. Like this is a really nice office. Check out all these mounts they got up here. So I was just asking Matt, like if you call in for like a warranty problem or something, you know, with the bows, are these the people that they're talking to on the phone? Yep, so all these guys right here, this is our customer service team. So we've got, I think there's six of them now to cover all the domestic accounts. And then we have one individual that covers all the international stuff. And then everybody over here is county. And then all of our executive officers are just right around here, just I just Man wonder how many hunting stories are told in this little... Well, you guys saw the gentleman in the red shirt right here. I can that's, tell that was a hunting that's story. Our, that's our CEO, Randy Walk, and he's probably okay. telling a story on that bull that he shot this year. So this guy? All these mounts right here are his. Oh, wow. As that's are those his that moved. Yeah, that's, well, that's his wall. Oh, and it's, he's the ones he doesn't want at his house. Man. So when we head back this way, he's got a whole size of musk ox back there. And really? Two timber wolves, so I mean... Gee, that's rad. I'm gonna have a wall like that one day, guys. Shoot up wait long enough, you have a wall like that, I promise. These are the guys that have Casey, Casey, nice awesome. to meet you. You're gonna be on Hey, how's it going? Eric. 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 Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Meet you. <laughs> this is the marketing team. They make cool stuff like that. That's good, yeah. That is a rad print. There's my humble boat right in there. This guy, Matt, uh, shoots traditional. That's it. He's gonna exactly. teach me how to shoot a traditional yeah. bow well, one of these days. Yeah. And uh, I really wanna hunt with one sometime. Never shot one before. You guys got lefties? We got lefties, <laughs> yeah. maybe. <laughs> Just turn it upside <laughs> down. Yeah. So right back here, this is obviously where we meet as a marketing team. We talk about a bunch of different stuff. Uh-huh. Don't take a video of that board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is where we do all of our Hoyt Pro Shop videos. Oh, so you're I recognize own, it. Yep, we've got our own IT guy. Um, oh, yeah, I recognize this. Design, everything. So it's nice to be able to do all that stuff in-house. In we don't yeah. have to outsource our media. It's just all done right here. So any video that you've seen of Kevin Wilkie, the Hoyt Pro Shop, it's right yeah. here, right? I mean... Yeah, do you guys recognize this? Yep. Uh, Let's go watch video. Let's see. Show us your, show us your impersonation. All right, here we go. Grabbing this uh, ruckus. What Defiant. It? Defiant. Here we go. We're going to throw it in here. <laughs> and uh, tune in. Okay, guys. That's pretty much how they... No, these guys know what they're talking about. I've watched a lot of these videos, and I've had problems with my bow trying to figure something out. Go watch them. Go subscribe to their YouTube page at Hoyt. YouTube.com slash Hoyt. Okay, yes. so this is our new 2016 Defiant. This is the aluminum series, and this is in our brand new Ridge Reaper pattern made by Under Armour. It's going to be a hot seller this year. Super cool, kind of an urban tactical kind of look there. Yeah, yeah way like sweet. That. Everybody digs that. It's a really cool pattern. Um, so just like always with Hoyt, we've got different models. We've got a turbo, a 34, and a 31 inch model, and then we also make that in a carbon. Let me find a carbon over here. Should be one on the show. Bows somewhere. galore. Yeah. This is our Here's Brian's colors. 
<laughs> that's the 2016. That's, there you go. Here's the purple. I would shoot the purple, man. That's <laughs> cool. Carbon back here. Carbon. Right there. Found one. Back bed right out. Wow. So we also offer all of our Hoyt accessories in that Ridge Reaper. And so this color configuration right here, this is our blackout with the half and half Ridge Reaper. So you can get a Ridge Reaper sight, quiver, stabilizer, whatever you name it. Because so really to some people that is like the most important thing. Oh, it is. It's all about color coordination. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, you feel good, you, you, feel good, you, hunt, good, good, right? you hunt good. It's right. a big deer. I mean, Dude, Brian, I've never seen Brian not match everything. That's right. <laughs> so this is that's good. I'm a big believer. But dude, how rad does that look? I like the blackout yeah. riser the blackout is with the camo. Yeah. It's sweet because we also offer like you can see here we offer different colored accessories. So yeah, on the shock rods and the different rubber dampening systems, you get those in different colors. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of you know personalize it and pimp your bow in a sense. So anybody that likes to personalize, that's that's the way to do I it. I shot the harvest brown spider last year with the orange. Yep, you had orange exact accents. Exact same thing. You had sure. green. Right? I had green blackout with green accents on the night from Turbo. Yeah, looked pretty it. sharp. But that looks pretty dope. Too. Yeah, you could shoot a 34 inch bow. That's freaking huge. You're gonna lose yeah. a little bit, bit of efficiency in a short draw length. Makes sense. And that's why we offer a number three cam, a number two cam, and a number one cam. We're maximizing the efficiency of every system. Yeah. That's that's the Hoyt way. We're not just gonna make. A giant pie plate cam and have a huge module where you can adjust it from 24 to 30. Yeah. That's not an efficient system, right? So our engineers go above and beyond, and we've got quite an extensive crew back there. We've got guys that make the cams, guys that make the limbs, guys that do the riser, and they build that system in unison to make a more efficient bow. Because realistically, you look at bows nowadays, and everyone's always like, oh, I want a bow that shoots 380, or I want a bow that shoots 370. Yeah, you can make it, but that thing would be a mofo to shoot. Yeah. No one would want to <laughs> shoot that. Wouldn't be fun. Exactly. So it's, it's all about improving the efficiency. And I guess, in a sense, the stance that Hoyt's taken is finding the best of all worlds, right? You know, we have a really fast cam. We have a really efficient system. And overall, they feel freaking awesome to shoot. Yeah. So it's one of those things where you have to go apples to apples. Mm -hmm. And that's, I guess, the challenge that I always give to people. They're like, well, what's, what's the difference between this, and the new Matthews, or this, and the new Elite? It's like, go shoot them. Yeah. Like, I dare you to go shoot this bow and compare it speed-wise, efficiency-wise, feeling-wise to, to those other bows and tell me it's not the best bow out there. Yeah. Well, that's what I've always said. I've made a video about this. Like, everyone always asks me, like, what's the best bow? What's the best hunting rifle? Like, this and that. Right. The best one, I think, is the one that fits you and the, and the one that, uh, that, that you feel most comfortable with. So. If you're trying to decide what Hoyt you want, like I said, they have a huge lineup this year, and what they do every year, but go and shoot them at your local pro shop and figure out what Hoyt fits you the best. And I'm sure the pro staffer will be able to help you, but uh, we're about to go do that, so. <laughs> so what's your um, take on like the strings now? A lot of guys have always historically got a new bow, traded them out for an aftermarket string. Yeah, absolutely. So it's funny because you'll go back on this tour and we make all the few strings are made here in-house and that's what we equipped our bows with and something very important to kind of keep in keep in mind is when we engineer our bows they're with our strings um, serving specs serving type serving stiffness all those different variables play into the consistency and performance of a bow we use the exact same materials as winner's choice it's a bcyx material you know it's you really don't have to do that anymore, I guess yeah. is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to go and you don't have to change those strings. Yeah. So many people are starting to be like, hey, my Hoyt tunes with those strings and mm -hmm. I throw other strings on if they're the wrong length. If anything's off, that bow's not gonna perform very well. I'm gonna walk you guys through some of the new upgrades and kind of explain what this entire system is because when we came out with the Defiant series, obviously it's a very beyond parallel limbo. Um, and this thing works as a system, right? It's not just new cams, it's not just new limbs, it's not just a new pocket, it's the entire system. Um, we call these our new Ultraflex limbs, and this is our new DFX cam. This is a Prolock pocket here. So you can see it's different from prior years where we used to have a full containment po pocket. And what we've been able to do is utilize this entire system in a locking system that gets this bow to flex across this pivot point on these dual rockers and it's maximizing the efficiency out of this entire bow. It increases the cable tension which increases into a solid back wall. So anytime you think about when a cam rotates around 
a cable stop that's going to come around and it's going to hit the cable. If there's more tension in that cable, that's what's creating that solid back wall. If there's not as much tension, that's where people talk about that spongy back wall or a weak valley, right? So you can see on this bow, so this is a 31 inch bow. When I come around, and this has a limb stop on it as well, which is also a new feature for 2016 on the new DFX cam. So for those guys that are all about the mega hard back wall, this bow is it. So comes all the way around and you cannot move that bow. Yeah, you, I am, that. and I'm not just faking this. I'm pulling on oh. this bow. So, whoop. look at those flex, man. When those come in, they're yeah. flex. And, it, and and it's very minimal movement. And what that contributes to is that deadness in hand. The more time anything has to move, the bow has to cancel that out. So if there's less movement in the limb, a quicker rotation in the cam, and a higher cable tension, it settles that entire system a million times faster. And so anybody that's like, well, I don't know if it's different from last year's bow, I dare you to go shoot one because I promise it's going to be different. So that's kind of the quick and easy of the new, the new system on our Defiant series. So I'm no like bow uh, tuning expert, but I can tell you having a, a solid back wall is huge. It is huge when yeah, uh, trying when to shoot consistently. That's when it's important to relax, settle, and make the shot. Wait. All right, guys, we are going back into uh, the manufacturing section of the Hoyt offices. We got to shut the camera off here, but uh, made in made in the United States, made right here in Utah. How rad's that? Look at all these, just a bunch of scavenger wolves in Dude, this room. This is probably the prettiest animal I've seen. The color on this thing, both of them are insane. This is the uh, Hoyt, what do we call this room? The boardroom. Board it's the, the boardroom. Board board Check so, it out. Super cool. Awesome. Dude, I was just down here throwing some numbers around. Some <laughs> up, there, up on the wall. Sheets, but, uh, dude, just want to thank Matt for uh, bringing us in, giving us the tour. We can't <clears throat> tell you everything that we saw in there, but I can just tell you this, that it is very hands-on. It's not a bunch of machines making these bows. Every piece is touched by a human, cared for by a human. I, I was super impressed. You guys Appreciate do, that. A, do a bang-up job making your bows. Thank you. So. That's why they're the best in the industry, okay? Darn exactly. <laughs> and I'm serious. Like, they're built right here in, in uh, Utah. But, guys, yeah, we say it. Get serious, get white. There it is. That's how you do it.